What's up guys and welcome back to Bay and Beyond Fishing. My name is Zico and first of all I just want to thank everyone. Uh, I hit a hundred subscribers on my last video and uh, yeah I can't I just can't thank you guys enough. Uh, I, I really appreciate the comments, the likes, the views and uh, I hope you're enjoying it as much as I'm enjoying filming and you know fishing and all that good stuff. Um, so yeah the past couple of weeks I've been getting skunked really bad so that's why the lack of updates but and I got skunked yesterday too actually um, so hopefully today I can hook up on some fish and and we'll see Alright guys, so I'm at the actual beach now and actually the wind kind of died down. I think the hill behind me uh, is uh, blocking all that wind. So it's actually really nice. Um, and for my rig, uh, it's the usual. It's 30, uh, 30 pound braid. Uh, I have a 10 foot 6 Daiwa MCAST on a Storm uh, Tsunami Shield, sorry. I have these leaders. It's a size 4 hook. It's like six for what, like three bucks or something? So, something like that. And the usual Berkeley Gulp Sandworms, two inches. These work just fine. Where we go, and I have a four ounce coin weight. The surf seems a little rough, so yeah, I'm going a little heavier. And as far as baiting it, just thread it through around midpoint, around there. Poke a hole, cover it. And you want to cover that, that eye of the hook right there. So just kind of push it through. Right there. That is perfect. Right there. And check it out guys. So I like to thread it through a little further down. Just because a lot of times uh, you'll feel strikes. And even when you reel it up, you know, you'll, uh, the tail will be bit off. So they like to strike from the back sometimes. That's why it's kind of in the middle to the back now. I kind of like it like that. Uh, but all right. Three hours later. There you go. There we go. There we go. There's a bite, finally. Finally. Small perch, probably. Oh, feels okay. Wow, we're fighting really hard. Tighten the drag a little bit. Oh, there we go. Come on, baby. There we go. Oh, that's a nice keeper size. Wow, that is fatty. That is a fat perch. Oh, that is a fat one. That is a fatty old perch, boy. Look. Come on. There we go. Let's try for one more. If there's nothing within the hour, then yeah, I gotta go after this. Alright, let's dispatch this guy. Give him a quick swift death. Here's one. Fatality. All right, sorry guy. All right guys, so that was my day. <laughs> Not as eventful as I'd like, but it's a pretty good perch either way. Um, that was three hours of no bites until the very last half hour before I left. It is recording. Anyways, um, 
yeah it's a nice size perch it's uh it's as big as my foot or shoe in fact so i wear a 10 and a half 11 so it's about 11 11 and a half i think um but yeah sorry i can do a catch and cook over here at least i will be preparing it at home anyway it was a beautiful day thank you guys for joining me thank you guys for watching and again thank you for 100 subscribers I can't be catching fish every week but I sure as hell am trying believe me anyway thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed that I'll see you guys next time what's up guys welcome back to another episode of crappy binging with Zico what we've got here are just a bunch of chives and the general idea is to just cover the whole fish up in chives inside the orifice up top on the bottom it all works now as you can see the fish has been poorly scored poorly gutted and but it works as you can see I'm clumsily cutting garlic smashing the garlic pouring Trader Joe's soy sauce all over that get some boiling water get the second level tray put your fish in close it up we're gonna do that for about 15 20 minutes at the same time you're gonna be heating up your oil dumping that messed up garlic in there check on your fish uh, looks good your garlic sizzling and now it's time to dump that burnt garlic oil all over your fish Anyway, that's pretty much the recipe. I hope you guys enjoyed. It tasted a lot better than it looks, I believe me, <laughs> but not bad for my first attempt. Anyway, bone apple tea. I'm going to enjoy this fish now. Thanks for watching. May the fish be with you, and I'll see you guys next time.